This RV walkthrough video is Wingman approved and has compliments of Berryland Campers, a member of the RV Dealers I Trust Network. Hi guys, Jack Milton here with Berryland Campers. I wanted to do this video to show the new 2024 32KD Europa by Dynamax. Dynamax is a Forest River company. Dynamax is building superior Class C motorhomes and has been for many years. They are known to be one of the top tier companies in that segment. They build many different product lines on many different chassis. The Europa is on the M2106, which is going to provide plenty of power and towing for most folks. I will go over the specs a bit later to go in more depth. So starting here, going around the exterior, you'll see that you have dual fuel field, which is gonna allow you to fill the motor home up from either side. This coach is equipped with backup and side camera. That is gonna be the side camera there that you see. When you put on your blinker, that's what's gonna signal that. Also, you can view it on this model by hitting a camera button on the dash to see each side. You'll notice that their compartments are clean and clutter free with lots of storage room. They use rotocast plastic because you can rinse it, bleach it, wipe it down. Most of them even have weep holes so therefore if you do do that the water will drain and dry out. You'll see you have a lot of depth there in the top portion of these for you know lawn chairs, tables, all the camping goodies. I wanted to bring up, you have dual valve stem extensions for your rear tires. They also use a TST, tire pressure monitoring system, and they use the pass-through kit, which allows you to fill the pressure and change the pressure without actually taking the tire pressure monitoring system off. This coach does have a propane port if you wanted to cook exterior. That compartment is lined with insulation, but you'll see that tag hanging there is actually on a quick valve for propane access. This coach also comes from Dynamax with a rock guard to protect others or your tow vehicle if you choose to tow. This vehicle will tow up to 12,000 pounds. seven-way plug and a four-way flat there at the bottom you'll notice that this camera here has two different eyes one's looking straight down to make it easy to hook up a tow vehicle the other would give you more of an eagle eye view of what's around you um, you can see left right and rear much further it's a, a wide-angled lens to give you better visual of long distances. This does have the Truma AquaGo, which is gonna be a tankless water heater system. Power attract reel with the port there out the bottom. This is also where you would have your propane filled and your bleeder valve if you ever need to access that. I wanna go over this compartment because this is pretty neat as well. Most manufacturers don't take the time and uh, label and clean this up, but first you'll notice that this has the aluminum insulation as well to give it a little more um, security for you or uh, you know from the elements whenever you're up in the cold or um, extreme heat, but mainly, of course, cold for where we live. Um, you have black tank flush. That's actually a small cargo heater. If you're wondering what the pink stuff is, uh, these are built in Indiana, and in the wintertime when they come in, they put antifreeze in the lines to protect the, the lines from freezing. Um, these are done with PEX lines, so they're actually pretty safe and secure, but you always want to, you know, be overcautious. So 
you'll notice you have black and gray dumps. It goes into the Thetford macerator, and then you can dump it from there. They do come with that blue coil hose you'll see in the back left to attach to your quick connect here for hot and cold water for outside shower. You have a water pump switch here. You also have your light switch. And you have the Santacon pump, which is what's gonna turn that on to help you dump. Of course, when you purchase from Berryland, we do a full PDI inspection process and a walkthrough with you. So the technicians will also go over that and give you a little more insight on how to properly do that. Very easy. Uh, most make more of it than it really is. This is an Onan 8,000 watt generator. It drinks out of the same fuel tank of your engine. When you get to a quarter of a tank, it will no longer run. That way you'll still have plenty of fuel to provide for the journey to get more diesel to keep your trip going. The way this coach was ordered, we ordered it with the lithium package. So you're gonna see there the lithium batteries. To the left, you will see there's going to be battery disconnects. Those battery disconnects are going to kill power if you're gonna be leaving the coach stored. Uh, it's a good habit to use those on and off. That way you don't come to a dead coach. Um, the ones to your left is gonna be for the chassis the truck portion and the blue ones to the right is going to be for the house, um, the actual motorhome. The first compartment here is going to be your inverter, fuses and relays. And again, you'll see that's, that's that pass through I was mentioning earlier. If you have something long, fishing poles, golf clubs, things of that nature, that's a great place to put them. Um, your dual fuel fill from this side, that's where you'd fuel the diesel, your DEF inlet, and of course your other side camera. Easy to gain access to the cab, which we'll go over that or inside the motorhome, but wanted to show it to you from this angle as well. This coach has the 6.7 liter Cummins, 360 horsepower. It is on the Freightliner chassis. It has Allison transmission, and again, like I mentioned, tows up to 12,000 pounds off the hitch. Most tow vehicles are under 5,000 pounds, so this will tow them without really even knowing it's back there the way the Allison transmission is geared. You'll notice a few things. Everything's really easy to access, which uh, the shop mechanics love that portion of a Super C. Not only that, customers love it because of the security factor that it adds, having all that extra engine out in front of you. Also, it gives you a little peace of mind knowing that you have more exit points using the side doors of the cab, not only the entry and exit door. Having that will allow you exit points where a lot of your Class A's only have one. Now we'll go on the inside. Oh, almost forgot to mention. Exterior TV with sound bar. Going in now. I'm going to hand left here. You'll notice that you have push button leveling jacks right at your entryway. That way you can do it from outside if you'd like. Your matter, battery disconnect, that is what's going to give life to your motorhome. And then you have a bunch of switches for your awning, master lights on and off, which I absolutely love that switch because it gains you lights as soon as you walk in the door. So we'll go on in. We'll start in the cab area and then work our way back. This is the front of that M2 106 chassis. Again, Freightliner builds a phenomenal product. They have a great warranty. Um, I'd love to go over any of that in depth with you guys if y'all want to reach out. I'll provide my contact at the end of this. Um, you do have air ride seats on this with rear air ride suspension. So you have shocks and springs up front of suspension, but your seats do actually ride on air in this. So I wanted to make sure I covered that. It's a little different. Um, it takes all the pressure off your back. Very nice and fun, I might add, to drive. Overhead bed, plenty of sleeping room. You do have the guard rail here to keep everyone safe. You know, it's easy removed, you just pull it straight up. It is is got the Explorer package, so it's gonna give you a thermal blanket to, uh, or shade rather, to put across the cab area here to cut out all light and a little added privacy. That right there is the TST system I was telling you about for the tire pressure monitoring system. That one there is going to be for your backup and side cameras. 
And if you remember, they had two cameras in the rear, which is going to give you two different angles, um, which is nice for hooking and unhooking your RV and seeing who may be behind you. So all four of them can be viewed there on a split screen. Then you have your radio there from the manufacturer on the chassis portion, which is going to give you a lot of features as well. I didn't bring the keys with me to turn that on. However, again, be more than happy to go in depth if you'll have questions. We ordered this one, options with the theater seating. Most people like that. As you can see, uh, an array of options there as far as in, out, uh, lumbar, heat, um, vibration, and a little light button here, which is gonna light up underneath the bottom of the seat. Uh, it's nice. And you also have a charge port not only the wireless one here, but you do have a charge port here in the rear of that compartment, um, which is nice. Storage cabinets across the top. Hard surface countertops. I wanted to add these, uh, I put installed one of these little cockpit tables. Um, you, these just slide into your cup holder. Really great idea because you have them when you want them and they're going when you don't. Just slide them right on in. Um, so it's kind of nice if you don't want to sit at the uh, you know Kitchen table all the time, but on that this does go down into a bed so you can sleep one or two one kid One adult depending on their size if they're super small you can probably fit two kids um, But again having the overhead bed in conjunction with that and the rear bed Which we're gonna get to in just a moment. You do have a good bit of sleeping in here. I would say at least up to five people Kitchen all has soft clothes Hinges, which is nice. Residential style microwave with convection. Pull out power port. This coach is equipped with Firefly, which is extremely responsive. Um, gives you a lot of options. I'm gonna go through the screens with you real quick. This is where you turn on and off your generator. You can set your auto gen start feature, which again um, is a really cool feature. It helps when you're away, keeps your batteries powered up if you need be. Um, that's your temperature settings. Confirm here, and that's gonna be all your power, such as your bed, your awning, your other slide here behind me. Um, and you'll see they're all color coordinated. Makes it super simple. The settings is going to bring you to, um, basically you can change the way the actual screen looks, but the only feature that I really demo on this portion would be the mobile app. Um, if you download this app here on the left and you put in these codes, it will mirror this exact motorhome. As long as you're in range, you can actually function and do the same things you can do from that screen on your device. Bathroom's very large. A lot of counter space in this one as well. You'll notice they have hooks here, or towels, which is great. There when you need them, out of the way when you don't, and just fold them back up. You have the rectangular style shower here with a nice surround. Walking out of there, directly across, you have your pantry, just left of the stove, which is a three burner. Three storage pullouts here as well, as far as your pantry goes, with the shelving up top. You have a lock here on your fridge for transit. Take that out and then you can gain access to your freezer with ice maker if you wish and choose to make it that way. And your fridge. This is a residential style fridge so it cools down within an hour. Um, not like the old school traditional RV style which can take up to six with the propane and electric going to them. This being a 110 works off of your inverter, inverter going down the road and it works off of, of course, your power source if you're plugged in or running off your generator. Also, what's neat about this 32KD, a lot of room in your bedroom, um, a lot of storage, two drawers there, three here in the middle, two more underneath here, but this is the one I really want to bring up. You have cedar line closets here on the top left and right in front of the bed. This is also plumbed for washer and dryer. It'd be a combo system, which we can install here. That TV does flip up with storage behind it. You'll notice that this coach has the two-stage shade system, which is nice. It's a, definitely an improvement, in my opinion, over the 
accordion style cloth that would get out of whack every time you used them. Wanted to bring this up, that's the heat shield. This is also gonna be your security feature. Um, that goes in the cab area around the windshield and side windows um, to, to block out some heat and of course create privacy. Nice gel style mattress. You have pocket doors in this coach uh, going to your bathroom and to your bedroom. Um, and what's nice about that is they don't take up any swing room. So therefore, whether you're traveling down the road or opened up like we are now, you still have plenty of room. It locks in place when it gets to the end here. And it also locks back into place when you get it back opened up all the way. What's nice about that is when you're traveling, you can leave that door open or shut secure. Same thing in your bathroom. So just wanted to do a quick little run through of course i could definitely uh, spend probably hours going over this coach with someone just wanted to see if it's something that interested you guys if you have any questions or concerns please reach out um, my name is jock j-o-c-k last name milton m-i-l-t-o-n uh, i've been with barry land campers now for just over 14 years um, i like what i do i like the dealership and i would uh like to meet you guys so if i could i would like to give me the opportunity Jock Milton, Barry Land Campers, 985-351-0885. Barry Land Campers is a Wingman approved dealer and a member of the RV Dealers iTrust Network.